Thank you for the resub, Kobobo. With Prime Inc. No way. Thank you. Not me getting an ad. Omega Dance. Imagine having an ad. <laughs> you watching me on the big screen? Uh oh. I better not say any slurs, should I? Welcome in, Jacob. Can we get some yos? I think this is your first subscriber only stream, Jacob. Hello. That was like my first ever ad. Ew. Yeah, because I didn't run the three minutes. Because the way I run ads on my channel is I run three minutes um, in the first minute. That way we don't have pre-rolls for the first hour. That's why if I run three minutes every hour, then nobody gets any pre-rolls at all. It's great. And sub only? Yes, yeah, sub only today. No normies, no plebs. If you want to chat, subscribe with Prime. Easy clap. I gotta mute my phone. Do I have people pride enabled? I keep forgetting. Let's see. Oh, I don't. <laughs> oh, wait, I do. People pride is enabled. It is. <clears throat> Does? No, it's not. It is not. Hi, Clover. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hi, Han. We do have a new subscriber emote, everybody. Um, peace I do pride. This Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for your mom. Me too, man. Me too. Um, when are sketch cards? I was gonna post today. It's probably going to be near the end of the week, I think. So I want to do Mario Kart tomorrow. Uh, Link Wednesday. I'm busy Thursday, so maybe sketch cards on Friday. Because I'm waiting for more pictures. Cough, cough, kin. I'll harass Kim for you? Nah, nah, it's okay. I mean, you can, but not on my behalf. What do we do in the stream? Um, Cult of the Lamb. You can use your channel points and you can join my cult. Check the bottom left corner of your chat box. I think this is your first sub-only stream too, Clover. We usually do, um, games that I don't play for normal because I usually do more chill games or games where like I have to like focus so I don't commentate as much where I can kind of like zone out and goof and gaff with the real fans you know the ones who pay <laughs> don't worry it'll be fine we torture each other asterisk in minecraft in minecraft A face came on in 10 seconds, everybody. Unless... Dude, I got a finger on my knuckle from my plastic laundry basket. Out of everything in the house, I swear, my hands get cut up on everything but the kitchen knives. Ew, I just got a Father's Day ad. Ew. 
Ew. Ew. My good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, so only stream. People smile. We had Jacob, Meg, Clover, and Gobobo for chatting in the just start starting soon screen. Thank you all for chatting and saying hello. A finger on the knuckle? Did I misspeak? I have a cut on this knuckle. You can't see it. It's, it's healed, basically, because it's, like, right on the fold. So you can only see it when I go like this. I had a band-aid on. I got so, like, not scared. Because I didn't stream Friday, because... Okay. We were initially only going to go to the movies on Saturday to see The Little Mermaid. But then we are like, oh, Spider-Man comes out this weekend. So... We saw Little Mermaid on Saturday, and then Spider-Man on Sunday. So, on Friday, instead of streaming, I had to do all my homework, because I had a day and a half less to do my homework. So yeah, that's so why I didn't stream Friday. I was thinking about it, and if I'm gonna do a National Donut Day stream, I'd rather just make donuts, so we'll do it next year. <laughs> I'll figure out how to get a fryer in my home or something. Oh, today I have banana milk. It has a boatload of sugar, though. <laughs> half the bottle has 50% of your daily sugar. So I had a half yesterday and half today. So I'm gonna be zooted. Okay, what else? What else? Uh, today is so bowling. Just so we could, like, hang out a little bit today. I was gonna go live on Peace and Art. Um, exclamation art in chat, everybody. But... I realized, and I haven't done a sub only stream here in about two weeks, so I was like, I can't scam my tier ones and my primers, so we're hanging out today. We're hanging out today. Um, you just bought banana milk. It is so good. I like, this brand is pretty good. This one is pretty good. They also have the ones that are in like little cartons. I think the carton ones are better because they taste more like condensed milk. Wait, Kobobo. I'm looking at your resub. And you have two resubs for 11 months. Because you had one today and then the other four days ago. Are you scamming? Are you scamming? Huh? Why did it come up twice? So I'm looking at it now. I think Kobobo's a hacker. <laughs> it gave you an ad? Or maybe, because you know how sometimes if you don't use the resub message in chat, it cycles to the next month? So, like, there was one time where I was subscribed to Connery's Pants, but I didn't type in his chat for, like, two months. So I had, like, do you want to show your three-month resub and then your four-month resub in the same stream? And I was like, huh? Maybe that's it? I don't know. As long as you're not doing it on purpose... I don't know. Okay, let's play the game. Enough stalling. No stalling. Oh my god, my favorite movie critic. Hi, Kim. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Hey, Kim, I need your fucking sketch card picture. I was gonna do sketch cards tomorrow, but I can't. Not to call you out, but... <laughs> Give me your picture today. If you want to join my cult, use your channel points right now. <laughs> we are in sub only chat. I keep, <laughs> I keep on forgetting to change the chat modes ever since Friday. Because you know how when I go offline, I change it to emote or sub only? We were just in normal chat all weekend, so if somebody would have come in and said, like, shit, I would not have known. Oopsie. Oh, my cult is dying. Uh-oh. Did anyone say anything? I mean... The only thing to look at... Because you know how um, Twitch has been saying... When you open up a stream, it shows the either the 50 most recent messages or the past hour of chat logs. That's the same thing that I can see. The only way for me to see if somebody, like, says something over 
when I'm offline is if I go to their specific user card. So, um, nobody leak. So, so just, just don't say bad words when we're offline, okay? So I'm like, I think it's probably better that I go to emo chat anyway. Wendy's or McDonald's nuggets? They're both not the best. I, I like the texture of Wendy's nuggets more. But when McDonald's nuggets are like fresh fresh, that's when they're pretty good. Oh shit, the day's almost over. Any breachers? I said lots of bad words. Yeah, Max said the D word earlier. Now, I'll be honest. I don't like spicy food because I'm not a masochist, okay? I'll say it. Ooh, axe mastery. Increase the range and damage dealt by throw- oh. By throwing the axe. Oh, so these are just for the heavy attacks. That's kind of bad. I'll take more relics. I hate when the nuggets aren't cooked all the way. What? Huh? Omega dance. Sorry. <laughs> I had to handle something. IBS can affect me when I'm pretty. Exactly. I just had to report a bad username. You say to smile. You got a Popeye's chicken sandwich raw? Okay, why is the chicken, like, not cooked all the way? Like, why don't they pre-cook it? Because that's how a lot of, like, fried shit is. They pre-cook it and it's good. Like, it's not often... They have, like, a raw chicken. Usually, <laughs> Max, stop. Stop only chat. Okay, I don't want to do any of these. I don't like any. Oh, I'm out of bones. Okay, let's just brainwash everybody. It is Pride Month. You are right, Jacob. <laughs> Guys, I'm single. <laughs> I'm sad. Or pass the raw? Pass. I don't like raw food if that's what you're talking about. Surely. That's what it is. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, let's get some cooking. is rock raw and smash and i'm getting kind of scared am i finally getting hate rated is it finally happening
Okay, I think I'm ready to go. For our first run of the day. We have a bunch of new followers. Thank you for redeeming Mac. You are first in line to be sacrificed. And I'm ready. So since I'm playing in easy mode, I think we'll do predictions for instead of beating the boss, we'll do unalive on the crusade run. I think that's what I'll do. Or survive this run. There we go. Everybody go Gamba. Do you think I will survive on this attempt, this run of the day? The first attempt of the day. Oh, I don't want to do purgatory. No, no. Never. Now the last time, because I think last time we played this, I did one attempt of this world, Anora, and then I died after like three rooms because I got a, the cutscene room. It was bad. Can I be the bear? Yeah, I think that's the first follower in line, Mac. I'm on vacation right now in our hotel as a jacuzzi. Hopefully stream doesn't fall in. Snicker. <laughs> I thought you said you were watching on the TV. Dude, I've been in your TV in the hot pool. Hot, hot tub. God damn. I can't talk. I haven't streamed in three days. I'm rusty. Double check. Sometimes when I it is okay. I I just have to double check my capture cards because sometimes they change frame rate. Oh make it dance! Sorry. You guys wanna hear something funny? Um sub only, sub only stream. See how we have one follower today? It was a fucking hate account. Because, <laughs> like, the whole gimmick with small streamers and the reason why I think they're such a big target sometimes is because they have, like, alerts turned on for followers. A lot of, like, shitheads will make accounts that have bad names to, like, bait the streamer into saying something bad. But it's, like... That's why I have alerts turned off. Cause like, I'm not gonna get baited. I'm not gonna say your name, jackass. So you know what? I banned them, I instant reported them, and they got their account terminated <laughs> in six minutes because I had a bad word in the name. It's like, Bozo, what do you think's gonna happen? Oh, I'm stunned off. Really? You snitch? Yeah. They had a bad word in the name. 
I'm a goody good. But anyway, don't you're not you're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me. Nice try. And whenever you get banned from a channel, all your alt accounts you make get marked as suspicious users. So if I do have a hate watcher, finally. Uh, 20% of my damage during the day or when killing an enemy, 10% chance of healing. Ooh, healing! I'll take it. If you try to, like, if you're a normal viewer, and you became a hate watcher, right? It flags your account, and it flags your IP address. So I will know. Imagine if it was a regular, we just never saw them again. That's what I think, too, sometimes. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. So, if this was a normal stream, I would not be saying this. I would- I would not shit the shit, but this is subble. You guys- You guys know the ins and outs. <laughs> Mac, was it you? No. I would be- I literally said I would- it would flag your account. I would be able to see. <laughs> Shh! <laughs> I mean, that's a big reason why- Or that's a big reason why. I also have 10 minute mode. So like that way if I get a new follow, I can click on the user and open their account. And usually if it's if it's an account made in the same day, then it's a fuck it's a burner. <laughs> you did it on your burner phone? No! Mac! Uh-oh. Okay, overall weapon damage increased by 1.2 or fire projectile when you swing your weapon. Ooh, I want the projectile. Ooh, two really good tarot cards. Anyway, if this was a regular stream, I would not have said anything. But this is sub only, so. <laughs> Imagine having a burner laptop. <laughs> yeah, what's cool about the monitoring thing is that sometimes a VPN doesn't work. Like, even if you have a VPN, sometimes it still flags it. Like, you know, Twitch has some big L's sometimes, but a lot of their moderation tools are pretty solid. I'll be honest. Fuck you, man. Oh wait, I have the good- I forgot. Wait, guys, technically, I have a burner laptop. You know, two laptops, two phones! I technically do have a burner. <laughs> I don't use it, of course. What am I gonna join Space Clan? Um, you know, I think I am the market candidate because I also am not good at games. But I don't know if they would like me. Now, I'm not saying this is shit on Grace, okay? I'm, <laughs> I'm making a top topical joke. Like, if I, were, if I were to join Space Clan, I would not know any of the fucking. <laughs> trick moves or anything either, so it would literally be me. And honestly, why would I join FaZe Clan? Their stocks are like basically in the negatives. Okay, death store. When hit down to half the heart, all enemies will be dealt to damage. No, but seriously, I don't know if I'd ever join like an org or a content group. Let's see, I need new followers. <laughs> then more people will buy since it's low? Okay. You buy a thousand dollars in FaZe Clan stock and see what happens, my guy. time you're scared I'm looking for a place peace rent out your house I'm not in a house we're in a duplex hey why aren't they oh they were just waiting for me okay Oh 
Oh yeah, I forgot with this cloak, anytime I take damage, I take double damage. That's why I was losing so many hearts at the start, I forgot. I'm not used to this cloak again yet. Anyway, I would seriously probably never join a, a, a content group because then it kind of feels like you have to make content with them and also um, you have obligations and that kind of seems not fun and then what was the last reason oh, I, I had one more reason why I don't think I think it does kind of limit your like creative freedom too Oh, I would- I would also never join a content group or an org just to get sponsors. It's like... Ugh, how do I- how do I say this? Yeah, the- Jake Paul's house was the hype house! Um, you know how when you look at some orgs, and they have, like, the top personalities? And then... And then there's some people who are just like kind of there, but not really. I would be the guy who's in the background. Wait, wasn't Team 10 like the org and then Hype House was- wait, no, am I remembering it right? I thought Hype House was Jake Paul. YouTube Hype House. Okay, who owns the Hype House? It's Thomas Pertrow, Daisy Keach, Alex Warren, and Chase Hudson. What? I guess Hype House- Okay, I know Team Tim- Fuck, I- God damn it. Sorry. I have to answer a text. I opened Messenger. And I didn't mean to open messenger. God, fuck me. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, make phone stream, everybody. Um, put your favorite emote on the chat. Sorry, I have to be like Miss Relationship Guru right now. My friend's having trouble. And I'm like, hmm. I'm like, hmm, just listen to what I tell you to do and fucking do it. But then they never do it. It's kind of like, you know how they say, like, a nothing, a ball of nothing, and then you don't know what to say back? It's that This is what that is, what I'm trying to think about to say now. Everybody, uh, put your favorite emotes in the chat. Wait, imagine somebody clicks on the stream right now, and they see that I'm still on my starting soon screen, and they're like, 30 minutes starting soon screen? What the fuck? No, I'm just answering a text. <laughs> you can imagine it.
Aren't some people starting soon screens actually that long? Yeah. I mean, the reason why they do that is because sometimes the Twitch notifications take an hour. And you, you, you usually get your peak viewership like two hours into your stream. So if you do a starting soon screen for like 20-30 minutes, then it allows most everybody to receive a notification and then it allows people to chat and like hype up the stream, kind of. And like imagine you're like waiting for stream to start and then it's just like hype, spam the whole time. And then when the streamer finally puts the mic on or cam on, you're like, oh my god, finally! It's, it's that anticipation. The only reason why I typically do five minutes is since I'm very small, it would not be a good idea to because I don't have a large audience yet. Especially when you're small, you can easily have people going in and out. Okay, I'm still thinking of how to reply. I don't know how to fucking reply. I don't know. I don't know. Everybody, put your favorite emote in chat. Dude, I should be paid for my um, love guru ness. Oh, I got my exercise bike in the mail yesterday. I'm gonna assemble it today. I was gonna assemble it on stream, but the instructions look pretty simple, so I'd probably get it done in like 10 minutes. Where are you gonna put it? Up my ass! <laughs> Wait, whatever. <laughs> Whenever? <laughs> Whenever? <laughs> Whenever? This is a bit I do with my sister and she hates this bit. Anytime she asks where is blank, I always say up your ass and she gets so mad whenever I say it and it's hilarious. Cause my sister, she's very straightforward, she's very blunt. So whenever I intentionally answer a question to mess with her, it makes her really mad. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna assemble it later today and probably pry- I already went on my walk. But I'm gonna watch Coco Melon and ride my bike. Just kidding, I'm gonna watch like YouTuber shit. When I ride my bike. No, why am I doing photo mode? Okay, resume. You have to use screws. It comes with it. It also came with an Allen wrench and a mini screw. So I don't necessarily need to use my own tools, which is cool. Because I think the most frustrating thing about Allen wrenches is that you need to have the kit. Okay, shielded enemies. Enemies holding shields will resist damage until their shield is broken. Use a heavy attack to break shields. Press the heavy attack button to perform heavy attacks. That's what I did, sir. Yeah, my dad has has an Allen key kit, but we don't yet. But what has been nice is most any furniture or equipment we've bought since we've moved has come with the Allen wrench with it. So we kind of have like a mini collection. <laughs> is it a peloton? No. It's got some like random as like non-name brand because it was on sale. I told you this last week, but I was, I was talking to my sister. I was like, you know, I might as well, or you might as well, not me. You might as well <laughs> uh, look into just um, buying the actual equipment. Oh, what are these bouncy things? Because the cost of the actual new equipment is probably going to be. Equivalent to like four months at the gym and especially since it's gonna be um, colder soon 
And, like our summers are like max two months here in Washington. And I can't necessarily go on walks when it's raining, so like probably the bike is better. The gym makes me anxious. Yeah, I've never gone to the gym. And like... Whoa, it hit me! When I was thinking about it, because like... I still wear a mask any anytime I go in public. Okay, I might die this round. I might actually. But, like, I'd probably still wear a mask to the gym, which is fine. When pandemic first started, I would ride... Or I would wear a mask while I was riding my bike. Okay. I don't want a dagger right now. I'll take the new curse. So, I don't mind wearing a mask while I'm exercising. I just have to take my glasses off, but it's like... I don't want to face any scrutiny for it, like... Anytime, like, I've walked past my local gyms, nobody's wearing masks, which is understandable. It is kind of, like, hard to do so when you're exercising. And Washington is fucking lit. Fuck me! Oh my god. I have one heart left. Washington is super lit. Um. So it's like, I don't want- I don't- I- my nightmare scenario is, like, somebody calling me out for wearing a mask, and then I just have to be like, I'm disabled, and then- in that scenario in my head, I'm like, okay, maybe they'll back off if I say something. But I'm so scared of, like, getting, like, a shitter. Like, just grilling me. For, you know, protecting myself. Because, like, when I go out in public now, the only people I see wearing masks are... Okay. I'm joking. Slash J. The only people I see wearing masks are Asian people. A lot of Asian people I've noticed wear the masks. And then the most, like, weird coded lib you've ever seen. Okay? Those are the only two groups of people I see wearing masks anymore. And I kind of fit into both categories, let's be honest. Um, no, and I, I don't see a lot of old people wearing masks, and I get kind of scared for them. Uh, has anybody mentioned it to you? Um... Uh, there was one time, it was like, what was it? I can't remember when it was, but I think it was somebody like at the register as I was checking out. This was a while ago, and they're like, oh, you're still wearing- No, I remember! It was when I, w I was in line, and it was like some older woman. She's like, oh, why are you still wearing a mask? And I was like, oh, my mom is sick. This was when my mom was like, she had health issues at the time. Well, I told you guys this, but... Because she was a possible breast cancer patient. Because she was waiting on test results. Um, so I, I just said, yeah, my mom is sick. And then she's like, oh, okay. But I've only been, like, called out one time for wearing a mask. But, I, like, you know how, like, anxiety brain works and you think of the worst scenario all the time? So it's just, like, I'd rather just avoid the situation entirely. masking i feel a lot of people still have the sentiment of when you wear a mask you're either sick or you're disabled right but in actuality to me when you wear a mask it shows that you're empathetic for you know the elderly population oh this is a different room style for like the elderly populations and then also um also disabled people right because those are the groups most likely to have substantial side effects if they do get infected. And then also, I personally think this is a lib opinion, okay? I'm libbed up. I also think wearing a mask is showing class solidarity. Because if you think about it, when they lifted mask, res um, mask restrictions or requirements, you know who was still wearing a mask all the time? You know, the world leaders, the rich, the wealthy. Like, you would see, like, news broadcasts and them at, like, meetings and shit. And they would all still be, like, tested before. They would all still wear masks. So it's, like... That's... 
Hi, Mint. Welcome in. So, it's kind of like that. Oh, Mint can't chat. Oh, no. I'm sorry, honey. Um, See if you have a Prime available. Ask your parents if they have a Prime account and link it. Uh, but hi, Mint. People, hey. <laughs> um, so, it's like... Only the rich people have access to, like, premium healthcare if they do get sick. So, that is my argument. It could have been worded better, but that's why my, that's my argument of wearing a mask is class solidarity. Because let's be honest, if you're poor and you can't, have, can't afford Medicare or, like, surgery, if you do get severely ill, Rich people don't give a shit, so might as well do what you can to protect yourself. keep my curse. I understand why some people don't like wearing masks anymore, and that's totally fine. You have the right to not wear one. It's just... I will never intentionally, like, give you shit for not wearing a mask. Um, I will only give people shit if they're like, I don't wear a mask because the pandemic is fake. And it's like, no, you're delusional. <laughs> That's the only time I'll give a shit. Cause like any form of like anti-vax sentiment is not condoned here. I'm indifferent when, cause like one of my friends, they don't like wearing a mask anymore, and I'm like, that's fine and valid. I don't care. But then whenever I ask them, <laughs> cause like I wear my mask all the time I go out, they're like, you know, the, the pandemic's over, right? And I'm like, ugh, I'm like, please don't start this debate, please don't start this. Because even if it was declared a non-national health emergency, it doesn't mean that people still aren't dying, okay? Yeah, I, I can totally understand if it's like a comfort thing. Which is honestly really- I was really surprised that my sister was comfortable wearing a mask. Like, she- She's kind of stopped wearing it, but then I'm like, okay, I don't get the like, whatever. Like, my sister stopped wearing one all the time, like, two months ago? But she and I always wear surgicals, or N95s. Because, like, ultimately, you should do whatever is in your best comfort, right? But... My only concern is, let's say there's another pandemic of whatever degree. I don't want people to feel the entitlement of not following the rules. Because, yeah, when mass mandates were in effect, you should fucking follow them. Okay? They're, they're there for a reason. They're there to protect you and your community. It's just, I feel like the COVID pandemic has given people such... That, that sense of entitlement, once again, to where they feel like they can break the rules. At what point do you think we go back to normal? I mean, that we're essentially at that point. It's just for people like me or people who are disabled or people who are immediately compromised, this is their reality. And they always have to be mindful. So yeah, it's probably can go back to normal for the normal person. I think it'll kind of be more- it'll make more sense if you yourself experience some kind of hardship or if you- somebody you know. Like, if your mom is a cancer patient, you should probably wear a mask. Um. So it's like... It, it's- it's hard because not everybody's gonna be receptive to that, that mentality. But I think... 
you can do whatever the fuck you want. Just make sure you, um, do whatever your national and local legislation advises you to do. And do what you yourself feel is the best to protect yourself. And if you feel like you are confident in your own immunity, that's fine. But not everybody feels that way, so you should still be respectful towards it. I wonder if there'll ever be a big outbreak again. It's bound to happen. Um, deal poison damage. Dude, poison damage. It's bound to happen. Like, the odds of it happening is... You know, better than aliens. Poison damage goes crazy! Stop it! Wait! No way! It's the boss room! Oh no! Uh oh. On PSA 27, I don't know if I'm gonna live. I haven't seen this boss yet. Step part 2. As hard as I thought it'd be. It's just, you know, the cycle when it has the first or the three bursts of projectiles? I just didn't figure out the pattern quick enough. I was freaking out. Dang it. Did I win? No. But if I get it again, I'll be fine. This first run of the day, not bad, honestly. Really good for a first run. I usually always have my hair tucked behind my ears. Like, I usually tie, like, the hair that lays here, I'll tie it back sometimes. I usually just put my hair in a pony, because, like, my ears are really sensitive. Um, ladies. <laughs> so, sometimes, like, the sensation of, like, feeling my hair touch my ears is uncomfortable. I think it's weird when people, like, when they wear earphones like this, they have the hair like this over their ear. I don't get it. It feels weird. They do it for attention, no way they do- No, I've seen some people like in public wearing their headphones like that. And I'm just like, what are you doing? Okay, this one is Mac. Mac attack. Dude, the little tough of bangs is always so cute to me. You're gonna go pray. Become more loyal to me, because you did say you were a hate watcher earlier. Okay, this one is mint. Oh, perfect. I'll keep the M.
Look at this bald ass rhino. <laughs> well, welcome in, Mint. Can we get some May Peace be in you? You're gonna go pray as well. Okay. I wonder what he's praying. Okay. Oh, everybody is sick. Fuck. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Everybody's gonna shit their brains out. Stop shitting! You guys usually don't see, but whenever the hypnosis sermon ends, everybody fucking shits and pisses themselves. Yeah, everybody put a mask on. This is literally a mask outbreak. Because <laughs> let's see. Yes, like half of y'all are sick. <laughs> yeah, cause usually this happens when I'm away or on a crusade. So people usually heal themselves at the healing hut. Or they just heal naturally over time. But since I'm here, I might as well just heal everybody. Oh my god, hi, Keelan! Dude, literally everybody is sick! Can we get some yos? Hi, Keelan. Benjamin. Glorious leader! Some elders have been cast from their cult and now seek a place to enjoy their final years. Maybe we should let them join ours? Yeah, I'll take them. Anybody want to join my cult? Any redeemers? Anybody? Huh. Thank you for redeeming Kobobo. Yeah, I'm gonna work on the best of May compilation tonight, so it'll be posted tomorrow morning. Oh. Look out! Look out for it. Everybody's healed and better. So
second. I'm just leveling Mac up like crazy. Wait, is it really day 269? <laughs> Man, some of y'all have been in my cult for so long. It's almost a year. Oh, it's 246. Oh, you got me. Mod, seriously ban Mac this time. One day, I'm gonna say that for real. And you guys are gonna be so sad. Shared shelter, a place for multiple flowers to sleep. Never collapses. Oh, you guys can have like a little sleepover. That's kind of cute. I'll put one of these. Actually, I'll put two. That's cute. You guys just can't smash at the sleepover, okay? I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, we never know. But still, not allowed. I'm the only one who can get married in this cult. stream uh oh non subs subscribe it's easy five dollars or free with the prime easy oh my god hi kimori welcome in can we get some yos hi han hi kimori I just got an email saying that I need to arrange how I'm gonna repay my student loans. Ew! Uh oh. <laughs> you know, my plan along with every other Zoomer who has student loans right now is just crossing our fingers the Democrats actually fucking... Just relieve our debt. Please, just do it. Please. Please. Wait, somebody got auto-modded. Who said a bad word? Back. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> it's funny how gay is not allowed, but gage is fine. That's funny. I feel like eating lamb for dinner. I've never had lamb, like like a whole rack of lamb. The only time I've tried it was once at a Korean barbecue place because they had like shaved beef and then shaved lamb. And I think since the meat was so thinly cut, I I literally could not tell the difference. Because, like, to me, the biggest thing that distinguishes different types of red meats apart is, like, the actual texture. So it's like, I need to go to a sit-down place and actually try a lamb if I want to truly experience it. Ready, give me money. Give me your hard-earned allowance. I need it. If you are a true member of the Cool Kids Cult, you'd give me all of your allowance. No, I don't care if you want the bendy pencil from the Scholastic Book Fair. Okay, 
Man, look at all the people who have died. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, there's so many. Oh no. You have 35 bones left. But a PDA? What's a PDA? Now, I feel like I know what that is, but I can't remember what it is. too similar to PT and I keep on getting hung up on that. What is it? My mom never let me buy anything from the book fair. Not even a book. She was just like, you can borrow it from the library in like a month after the book is like not new. And I was like, true, but still. I wanted the smelly bendy pencils. Personal digital assistants. Oh, is that like the cliche thing that like the hall monitors would have? I remember seeing like a SpongeBob joke about it. You could buy that at the book fair? That seems like something that'd be expensive. Huh. Missing one of my demons. Oh no. Oh no. I think my Kim demon that gave me a spirit heart got old because they're not here anymore. I gotta find another one. Damn, damn, damn. Because my lineup is melee demon, spirit heart, and then gather heart. It was just mad old in general? Yeah, exactly. The game mimics reality. We all know that. I need one that gives me a spirit heart. Okay, so we have... Tigreter Give me out. We'll do the one who waits. Or can I level them up first? Let's see. Ah, I already took a confession. Damn. Oh yeah, look, Kim is old. God damn it, why you became an old fart? In my moment of need, you left me. For the nursing home. <laughs> you got a severe air warning? Monka W. You know, anytime I get an air quality warning, I'm just scared that Matt Rainer finally blew its top. Oh shit, I just realized the one who waits is my chef. I need a chef. You are going to become our master chef. Oops. Oh, the ship pad is so cute. Okay, back to work. I'll do mushrooms. In the game! Not in real life. Never in real life. Twitch dev. Don't clip it. Don't clip it. Don't 
do it IRL? No. I've been offered, but I'm just like, I'm good. Because I know a lot of people, when they do like psychedelics, they experience like, I understand the world so much better now. But you know, I feel like I'm already pretty mindful already. No, chatters, do not take Mac's advice. D never listen to Mac. Mac has the worst food takes and the worst Drugo's takes. We all know this. Ooh, I got a tear! Very nice. Being high feels like a different level of thinking. So I'd go from a five head to a six head. I don't know if that sounds appealing. Hey, y'all know the drill. Will I survive this run? Everybody go Gamba. On my last attempt, I got pretty far. I got to the boss room. I had the boss down to like a third health and then I killed over. But that's because I went into the fight with not a lot of hearts. I just have to play careful. More careful this time. No damage run starts now. Or damage during the day or overall weapon damage increased by 1.2. I'll do 1.2 weapon damage increase. I'll have long term. The okay, attack rate increased by 1.25 or enemies have a chance to drop a fish. I'll do the attack rate increase. Wait, doesn't this demon give me a spirit heart? I didn't get a single spirit heart. Gotten scammed. Fucking projectiles. It's always the stupid projectiles. I get scared, I freak out. This is why I'm never gonna play Cuphead. I would just be having a panic attack the whole time. Yeah, I agree. Cuphead, just watching people play it, it's too much. It's too much. But it is fun watching people who are really good at Cuphead. somebody play it seems like it's almost like unbeatable for someone like with my lack of skill okay these long rooms 
Like, see how the camera shifts when I go down? It, it's kind of disorienting. Disorient. Disorienting? Sub goal cuphead? I think. Wait, do I have it as a sub goal? I think I did. And then I took it off. But I made it like 200 subs or something. I think it might still be there. Let's see. Oh, oh no. Um, sub goals. 130 Sonic Colors, 150 subs, Kirby Mouthful Mode, IRL. 160 is Cuphead. Uh, please, I... I'm gonna change that. <laughs> I'm changing that. What's the most subs you've ever had? I think it was 120, and that was after the birthday stream. Uh, chat went crazy. Oh, I can get a free follower here. I literally just posted a TikTok clip talking about this today. But I'm not too concerned about my overall sub count. Like, my goal is to finish a calendar month and have 50. That's my baseline goal. Because then that means for that month, I've made at least 100. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I can say the amount. I just can't say the the ratios. That means I've made about $100, and that includes ad revenue, subs, and bits. And that is a 100 is like my baseline expenses. So anything more than 100 is like extra things I can buy for streamer for myself. So. I'm never, like, too subconscious about my sub count. Like, I joke about it. Like, sometimes when I hit the sub goal, or when I set up the goal at the start stream, I'm like, guys, can we hit this number? I fell off. Like, I say it jokingly, but honestly, don't care. Um, I'm honestly blessed and lucky to have the sub count that I do for a channel of my size and very small. But it's, be it's because my audience is very engaging when compared to my follower count. Um, I do think... Ooh, finally! A relic. Two Rua's tentacle. Spawn a tentacle that inflicts damage when touched. Ooh! Fun! Anyway. Like, my chat engagement is... My chatters are really active shadows. Um... The engagement on a lot of my social media posts, on the platforms that I do have a somewhat significant following, are pretty good. Because for any social media platform, you want to make sure you have at least like 10% engagement. Engagement can mean like commenting or likes. Fuck you, oh my god. So if you have 100 followers, ideally, 10 people should like or engage with your posts. That's the goal. Some platforms I do better on that with, and so I don't. Come here! Oh shit, it's time. I thought I, it was a whole thing. Fuck you, man. Just come here. So anyway. And since a lot of subscribers for smaller channels are regular tier ones. Not a lot of people gift subs in smaller chats, so shoutouts to the gifters here. Um. Because I don't want to say the actual number, but usually 20% of my Gifted subs, if I have 50, are usually primes or tier 1s. So about 10%. So 10% of 50 is... Blank. But this month, out of the 45 subs I ended the month with, about... Shit. About a third were regular tier ones or primes. Like, I had to 
gotten a lot of primes this month. Like, I, I had like double the amount I normally do. Which is good. If you tier 3, do you get anything? No. I still have the same belief of it's probably better to gift the sub if you can afford a tier 3. Because yeah, I could enable special emotes, but I don't want people to feel left out. It's kind of like how my follower emotes are in a similar style to my sub emotes. I don't know, I'm very like... No, I'm not a classist. I want everybody to feel equal. Plays in both my ears. Ooh! What do I have now? Who have a sword? I like both of these. I'll take the gauntlet. Choose half a heart or a tarot card. Right now, I need the health. I said I was gonna be more careful, but I've been taking a good handful of L's. So it's my fault. Alright, it's my sister. Yeah, we good. Cause like, I don't talk with like, my sister casually, like throughout the day, like we're not like, oh, how's the work going? We don't do that shit. So it's kind of- we only really text each other if there's like an emergency, or if like we need something. So whenever I get a text from her, I'm like, oh, I need to check it. Because- I'm trying to think. There's never been an emergency that's happened, but there was like one time where she said she needed to get home from work, and I was like, oh, how am I gonna help with that? Ooh, I have the tentacle curse. Hmm. That was my fault. I was in the poison. Oh, what's the heavy attack for this? Huh. He has to charge up a little bit. Kinda hard to use. What's the difference between the tiers? Um, so when you manually subscribe, you can choose tier 1, 2, or 3. Um, the main difference will be price and the perks you get. So, uh, tier 2 I think is $10 a month. The cut that the streamer gets, the ratio is still the same. So, let's say somebody has a 50-50 split, which is the standard for most, uh, People who are affiliates or partners on Twitch, 50-50 is the normal. Um, so if you are tier 2 and you pay $10 as the consumer, the streamer gets $5. And then there's tier 3, which is $25. So the streamer would get half of that, so that'd be about... $12? A little more than 12 and then some streamers usually will have like different special emotes that only tier 2 or tier 3 can use. Or they get special little additions to their badge. Like it could change the color. Or there could be like a little icon on top of your sub 
badge. Um, I still have the belief of I want all my subs to feel equal. Because I think there is a lot of, like, sentiment. Like, if you're a non-sub chatting, it, I feel sad, you know? Oh, please, thank you. I needed these heals. So, it's kind of like if you want to give your favorite streamer like more financial support and also you get some perks. Oh, immune to poison. Ooh, immune to poison or fire projectile. I'll do the projectile because I don't think the boss has poison. Ooh, gain an extra heart or one attack 10% chance of negating damage. I'll take a heart. I'd rather I'd rather just take this fight, honestly. So that's why, like, I have the sentiment of, if you can afford to tier 3, which is $25, I would much rather you, the consumer, spend that $20 extra on four gifted subs. Because then, those four people will receive a gift, and then maybe in a few months, or after they receive a gifted, they're more likely to manually subscribe themselves. I know a few chatters themselves have said they chose to... Uh, manually subscribe after receiving a gifted or just watching the streams more because when you're a subscriber to a channel You usually watch the streams more Oh no Yeah, I'm tanking I'm tanking I don't care I'm, I'm poisoning him I'm tanking <laughs> oh, I didn't even get to see my relic. Let's see. Whoa, that goes kind of crazy. Damn, I should have used it. I always forget about the relics. I know it's a new mechanic, but I'm not used to using the triggers. Oh, we keep shooting projectiles? Dude, I should've used this. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. One. Done. Let's go back home. He said to smile. I think a lot of my opinions concerning like subs or donations and that type is kind of unconventional. But I think it's because before I started streaming, as with most, you watch a lot of stream content. So it's like I understand the perspective of the broadcaster who does make income from donations and then also the giver of donations. So it's like I understand that. There is some level of... Anybody want to join the cult? Use your channel points. There is a level of... Uh, exploitation is not the right word. But to me, I don't want anybody to feel like their donation goes to nothing. Or that their money that they do spend on my channel is not being put towards something that is for... I, I don't want people to give me donations or subs just to give me subs. I want it to like go to other chatters. I want it to be like you're actually supporting me. Like, it's kind of going back to the sentiment of if you have wealth, could you flaunt it? I'm kind of indifferent on it because They, to me, it comes down to how you get your wealth. Like, if you got your wealth through, like, generational wealth, like, from your father's HVAC company, then it's kind of like, that's whatever, right? You, you had a good spawn. You got lucky. Oops, RIP. Um, but if I ever make 
a lot of money from streaming, I wouldn't want to spend that money on luxurious things unless I had other means to earn that money. That's why, like, my long-term goal is to still stream. Streaming is fun. Hanging out with chat was fun. But I want to be able to make something like a product to sell. Then that way, any money I make from that product is from my own hard work, right? That way I don't necessarily need to rely on subs or donations for a living. That's the ideal scenario for me. And it's not necessarily gonna be artwork, it can be like something else. I like the idea of... Oh, I'm gonna finish the prediction. Did I live? Yes, I did. Yes, sir. I like the idea of, like, offering a service. So, like, maybe commission work, freelance at some point. Or, um... Doing commissions. But that should not be my sole income. You still need to make your own work for yourself. Um... I remember years ago, I applied for a caricature company. And it's actually good that I didn't get the job because like a year later the pandemic started so they had to stop all operations. Um, <laughs> so, I think that could be fun. I do think doing live art, like especially caricature, is really fun. Because it's one of the more like engaging types of live art you can do. So I do think that could be a really good endeavor for me to pursue. And you do get to travel, which is cool. Because there's a studio in Seattle. You know. <laughs> the, the joke is, whenever you say you're from Washington, you just say you're from the Seattle area. Because that's the only city in Washington that people know. Um, but they have a studio in Seattle. But they do, like... You can choose to tour across the country. You can choose to do online work. It's cool. So, my goal... At the end of the year is fine to my caricature skills. That way maybe I can work for that company. Maybe next year. That's my goal. Because it takes a long time to develop any type of art style. I practiced a little bit for a few months a few years ago when I initially applied. Because like that specific company, they didn't have like a portal to apply. Like I had to email the the only public email I could find. It was probably just like one of the regional managers, so it was like, Hey, this is my portfolio. Can you look at it? I would love to work with you. I talked to some employees at my local fair, and they said the training was easy, and I have some experience illustrating. And they're like, Oh, we're not hiring, Sag, but keep working. And then a year later, pandemic happened, so. Um, anyway. Where is I going with all this? Oh, anyway, so, like, I would want... I only want to make money from the work that I make or create. I don't... I'm indifferent about owning property. Because when you own property... Fuck, I... Can I take a confession? Oh, I can. It's nighttime. Hmm. Wake up, Mac. Because um, when you own property, you are profiting off the money of people who are living there, right? So it's kind of like... We hate landlords. Because when you're a landlord or when you rent out your property to people, you aren't working. Like, you just were lucky enough to have the money to buy the property and now you are selling that property short term to somebody. And it just feels icky. It feels icky. And I know they say that property is the best form of investment, but that's because you're profiting off of people's livelihoods. Um, and that's also why if you own one house that you live in yourself, that's not, you're not garnering value off that property because you're still paying off that property. So the only time in which owning property is profitable is if you own multiple and you're renting out to people. What if I bought that house and retired and now I'm just renting it out? That, I think, is fine. 
Um, that, uh, it's fine. Because, like, if you're fucking old, then, you know, you might as well. I'm just talking about, like, the people where their main income, like, their job is renting out properties that they own. I think that is kind of scum. Yeah. Dude, my, my arm is fucked. I don't know. It's so sore. But I think if you're old, you know, that's fine. You know, AARP ain't gonna show up for you, probably. But then it's like, if you're retired, where, where are you living then? If you're renting out the house that you bought. Do you have another house? If ever. Hello, leader. It would be so funny if we pulled some hilarious pranks on the mayor team. They are real picky eaters, so let's make them eat poop. Huh? Yeah, why not? Let's, let's do a little bit of trolling. <laughs> let's make him eat some poop. What if I'm just chilling in the upstairs unit and I'm renting out the downstairs part? I think that's fine. I just think it's like, when you're renting out on like... Not necessarily a massive, but a multiple scale. Like, if you're renting out more than like three properties... Then it's kind of like, you had the money to buy those three properties. And it's like... I think it's because like, when I think of... Like, you know the hustlers people? Who are like, this is what you need to do to make money, right? When in most cases they have that generational wealth or they have the money to buy property and it's just, it, it it's so scum to me, I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. It's just, I don't think you should ever buy a property to rent out on purpose. Like, it's different if you, let's say, buy a house in your 30s and you want to move. That's fine. That's fine. Like, that's reasonable. Anybody want to join my cult? Smile. Became old. <laughs> oh, leader, you are so funny. We are so lucky to have such a leader with such a great sense of humor. Jacob, welcome back. I just think there's a lot more ethical ways to make money. Th that's the final thing about saying... That's the final thing I'll say about people who rent out properties. the best way to be renting out don't <laughs> don't that that's the best like honestly
Because the reason why people rent out properties is so they don't have to do physically laborious work. But where are those people gonna live? I'm, I'm trying to think about how to explain this. Uh, it's such a multifaceted answer and question. He said he didn't want ghetto people living in his house. Oh no! And then you said, Oop, I'm out. <laughs> Got him. I. Okay, prediction, everybody. Will I survive this run? Third attempt of the day. How do I say this? Okay, the main issue with people who are forced to rent is since those markets are privatized the market dictates the price of renting okay so that's why everybody's like rental rates go up by like a hundred dollars every year or so because that's what the market dictates so the issue that arrives is since rental rates are so high no normal person okay normal is not the right word no civilian it's a lot harder for people to save up money to like buy a home at some point so I, I don't know. I don't know. Kabubu has died. Oh no! I'm PSA two seven. Ooh. A Eighth Riles powder box. Use a random relic. Don't use that. Yeah, cause like, cause the landlords, they ha they own that property, so they themselves are probably paying off their own mortgages and shit. Which, depending on how much the property was when they bought it, it's probably gonna be... Uh, okay, the rental rate that you pay when you're renting out a home is going to be greater than the amount that they, that they mortgage it for themselves. So, like, let's say your rental rate is $2,500 for, like, a four-bedroom home. And that's, like, the going rate. Like, his mortgage? Oh no, computer has died! PSA 27. His mortgage rate is probably, like, 2,000. Maybe, max. So he is making a $500 profit. Anyway, this is an example. I don't know what the actual ratios are, because when you own the property, you dictate your own rental rates. Um, as the property owner, you can choose whatever however you want to price it. So... God, envy, please! So either way... That landlord will always make a profit off of just solely owning the property. So to me, there is still no ethical way to rent. When I say to rent, I mean the people who are choosing to rent out their properties. That's what I mean. Not if you have to pay rent. <laughs> Aren't you renting? Yeah, that's why I had to clarify. I don't mean like if you, the consumer, the person who lives there is taking out a rental. I mean like the person who is choosing to rent out their property. So I'm dissing the landlords, not the fucking people who live in the homes. <laughs> Gosh, 
the place we were looking to rent was asking us to pay off their sonar panels. Yeah, look at Jackass. He has the. Okay, I say he by default. Okay, increased chance to spawn better chest, or when hit down to half a heart, all the enemies will be dealt two damage. I'll get better chest. I'll try that out first. I love green contrarian. That's why I like Mag. Hmm. Can non queer people use the LGBTQ tag? Hmm. Ooh, overall weapon damage increased by 1.2 or received double the health when healing? Yes, sir. Yeah, anyway, there's probably like a tax write off you can get off for getting sonar panels. I know in Washington. I mean, it depends on your state. Uh, in Washington, you can get sonar, pal sonar paneling or like some windows installed from the government. You just have to apply. Because, you know, Inslee is pro green, pro save the earth. You just have to apply. If we get solar panels so they can't afford them. Yeah, it's kind of weird that he's like, hey, can you pay off my solar panels? That is kind of dumb. Okay, 20% more damage during the day. You gotta keep the conversation going as a contrarian? I guess that is kind of... Yeah, that is kind of... It is kind of fun to debate a little bit, I guess. So let's see, which is a good path? I need more followers, so I'll go far left. If I'm an opinion about any form of like business endeavor, you should not go into it if you can't afford it. I'll take half a heart. Because I'm talking about small business in general. I feel like a lot of people pursue their passions, which is valid. We love that. We love girl bossing. But if you don't see your business success or succeeding, then you either need to change something or switch it up. Or that's the same thing. I mean, <laughs> or maybe just not do it. Like, you have to have the money to start off your business, in my opinion. Obviously, every type of industry has a different, I guess, starting point on what expenses will be. Um, your probably largest expense will be equipment and then the land in which you're gonna do your business. Like, let's say you wanna start a bakery, okay? You are going to need to train employees. You are going to need to have a space in which you can bake or cook. Um, oh my, my health is full. Okay, I need to come back here if I need to heal. Um, you need to buy raw materials. So, ingredients, not materials. <laughs> But your biggest expense up front will most likely be the equipment and the space in which to use the equipment. Because when you're baking, you're cooking on a massive scale, so you're probably going to need like a decent sized kitchen. Probably a few large mixers, all, the, all that jazz. Unless you're baking from your home, then that's fine. But you're probably not going to make a, like a massive scale of product. Um, that's why... I think it's fine to take out business loans when you're first starting. There's usually pretty decent payback plans they have. Um, but I don't think you should ever start a business if you don't have full faith and confidence in it. A prime example, guys, um, exclamation shop in chat, okay? Exclamation shop in chat. With the art stuff, like the paintings and stuff, in terms of material, Maybe 500, okay? Maybe 500. And then the website is going to be $60 every month, which is fine. It's just the hosting fees. And then also the time in which to make everything. It's obviously different for me because I made everything myself. Granted, it's not like amazing, okay? It's not amazing. 
but everything was made by myself. Like, it's not like I had to hire a graphics person or somebody to make the website. Everything was by myself. But I only did it because it was an endeavor that I knew I could handle. It was something I knew that I wouldn't necessarily need to hire somebody right away. Um, and it's also Gosh. funny. It's oh like, I see... Now that... Like, I'm saving a bunch of, like, you plus one blue heart or half heart. I'll take a blue heart. Now, because, like, sometimes I'll save, like, art tip videos or, like, small business tips. So, like, I get a lot of those videos recommended to me. And I see so many, like, people talking about their, like, small business and be like, Oh, I was not ready for this or I didn't anticipate all of the hardships that came with a small business. And it's like, bitch... Did you not use your little tiny brain? Like, your business is not just selling little stickers. It has to be more than that. There's so many dynamics to it. Like, so many, like, people who don't understand the basics try to sell shit, and it's kind of like, what do you think's gonna happen? Okay, I didn't see, what's, what's the balloon thing? I didn't see the balloon thing. Um... I used to see TikToks like that all the time. They would try to justify these ugly, overpriced, cheaply made products. I kind of agree with that. Because, ooh, vampiric sword. I'll take that. When you're selling a product, uh, for me in particular, I'll explain more later. But going back, because you, you guys brought up the cake thing, um, obviously the cake drama... <laughs> if someone is not as good at their service i think it's valid if you get scammed for an overpriced piece of or an overpriced cake it's your fault it's your fault okay obviously if somebody is promoting a product that looks amazing like in pictures or videos and you get like shittiest product then that's the business's fault okay that is not your fault as a consumer you're misled okay, that is valid that's why I think that user reviews are so important. Oh no, Tiger Tear has died! Oh no! Because all, obviously the business owner is going to juice themselves up all the time. They're going to make themselves seem awesome and great. That's why, like, whenever I look at a product, I always look at reviews. That's why I know for me, it's going to take a while till I sell, and that's totally fine. I anticipate it. I give my- I'm gonna give myself a year to see how well it performs after a year. I'm talking about my art business. Um. Plus one sale, everybody! <laughs> um. Talking about the art stuff in general, a lot of small artists, when they do start to, you know, open their little Etsy shops, and, you know, they're like, ooh, I'm a business owner now, or buy my little stickers. The reason why I didn't go down that path is the most a consumer will buy a sticker for is probably five dollars. And it's probably gonna be some bomb ass sticker if you're gonna pay five bucks for it. Because in terms of material, stickers are very, very cheap to make. The most time consuming thing will be like actually making and packaging your stickers. Um. Oh my god, what is this? Holy moly, is this peaceandart.myshopify.com? I updated it. Wow, I put a quote. Holy moly, exclamation shop and chat, everybody. We're talking about the business, might as well plug it. Thank you, Kobobo, for redeeming. Um, yeah, these stickers are pretty good. Um, I got... I'm, I was gonna show my camera, but I, I can't show the envelope. <laughs> um, I posted them on my Twitter, though, because I got them in the mail. I think I was the first one to get them. <laughs> Yay! I mean, that's because Emmy lives in Washington, same as me, so that it just goes through the postal system faster. Um, I think as with any person- Oh my god! With any person who has a new product, there will obviously- Feedback is needed, fine-tuning will need to happen. And that's totally right and good. Emmy and Peace and collab? Um, no narcs, but... 
I ain't leaking. Anyway, going back to my main point, a lot of small artists will start off with stickers or prints. But the problem is, since the the time in which it takes to create a project is going to be a few hours, so I my hourly rate for painting is 25, or any creative endeavor will be 25, because I feel like that's valid. Um, but when you're selling a product that is such low price point, if the illustration you made to make for the for the sticker took three hours, and then also the production time it takes to digitize your image, to actually make the stickers, to produce and package. Let's see, so that's probably like five hours of work, let's say. On the low side, on the low side. Five hours. So, to, to make one sticker, if this were like a, like a commission order, would probably charge at least like 125 for that one sticker design. But since you are selling that sticker for, remember I said max five dollars, but if you're just starting out, people will probably pay no more than two. So let's say two dollars for that sticker. You would have to sell 60 plus stickers to pay off the time in which it took it took you to make that one design. So what if it's really bad, but you took five hours? Well, then that's an L. That's an L. That's a piece of 2L on your part. <laughs> um, anyway. So, the ratio of time to how much product you need to sell in order to make a profit is very high when you're selling stickers. That's why. I'm doing paintings for now. There will come a time where I might do prints, where I might do stickers, because I feel like those are more achievable. The normal consumer is more likely to purchase those items. But in order to do that, you need to have a baseline consumer demographic that will buy those things. Like if you're a nobody like me, and if I were to sell stickers, I would probably sell... Okay. On the website launch, we sold one painting. Shoutouts to Mac. Thank you, Mac. Fuck me. Sorry. So. Okay. Anyway. Going back to the main point. So since I'm also selling replica painting, so I can charge full price for a full painting. That means when I sell one painting, I essentially pay off all the material, and then all of the labor hours it took to make that one painting. Through one transaction, right? So, you know, for the sticker example, I said, well, you would need to sell... Oh my god! You would need, you would need to sell 60 plus stickers of that one design to make a profit in terms of time. For that one design. Oh, fuck you, man. So even if I sold one painting, I still make a profit. Fuck you, man! What are you doing? Dude, this guy's crazy. Dude, what is this attack pattern? I'm waiting for the resellers? No! Yes, let's go! <laughs> Easy! Okay, so my main point is, since I sold one painting at launch, that means I was up about $120. So that means from that one painting, that, full, that one painting is fully profit. Yes, I still do have inventory. So yes, I still have probably, let's see, I made 12. 12 times. Average painting was 5. Yes, I've still done like 60 to 70 hours worth of labor. That needs to be paid off, right? But, whenever I do sell a painting, that profit will be instantly made. 
You need to buy them. Everybody, yeah, clean out the shop. Use exclamation point shop code Twitch10, $10 off. Easy. Uh, anyway. Do, do you guys get what I'm saying? When in comparison, if I would have made stickers for launch, and I only sold stickers, I probably would have invested maybe 20 hours into making a few stickers. So, I would still have to make, like, probably $300 profit. Or $300 net sales to make profit to pay off the labor for those sticker designs. But I would probably sell... Ooh. Since the, since the stickers would be cheaper, it people would probably would have been more likely to buy it. So, I think maybe five people would have bought stickers if I would have launched with stickers. But even $5, average transaction, maybe $10 if I had like three sticker designs, people might buy three. But let's say average ticket would be like maybe six. It would still cost like 50 cents to mail it. Anyway, so like if I had five people, average ticket six, I would have made $30. So that would have been my guess if I would have launched with stickers. So I would have spent 200 hours worth of labor and only made $30. When in comparison, for the paintings, let's pause, I spent about 100 hours of labor, and I made 100. So, if you're just starting out, you need to think of what type of product will garner more profit for your time. I also saw another artist who is successful online with their sales, saying that you need to have like smaller products and larger products so you can have like stickers or keychains and then you all oh no cupia has died psa27 you also need to have um larger price points like a large print or like original paintings that way your work targets both demographics of people who want lower price point things and people who are like wanting to collect that way you aren't necessarily excluding a part of your audience or part of your purchasing demographic um the main reason why I wanted paintings first is because I would garner more profit at the start. That way I can pay off my the money I spent to like buy material, keep the website up quicker. Um and also uh, Emmy, don't watch this stream. Delete the VOD, Emmy, don't watch this stream. Every little artist has a sticker shop. Every all of them have stickers. Um it's very hard to stand out because everybody has stickers. Like, yes, you have your own designs, but everybody does stickers. Like, it, it's very hard to think of something original when you can't- when you don't have access to, like, a manufacturer. Like, that's why I think clothing is, I think, the easiest to sell. And you can easily outsource that to, like, third-party uh, manufacturers. But stickers is, like, one of the few small products you can make where you can fully control the, the manufacturing process. Like, just making it in your fucking living room. Um, but because of that, everybody has stickers. Um, that's why I chose not to do stickers, because... Yeah, this is not going to be on camera. I feel like stickers are basic. Everybody does them. And I wanted to do something that stood out. Um, anyway, it's ad time because we're two hours in the stream. <laughs> I don't know. It's just my opinion. Shout out to anybody who does stickers. It takes a lot of work and time. I know it. But... You know, I'm not the rest. I'm a, I'm a pick-me girl, okay? I'll admit it. Did I live? Yes, I did. Fuck the doubters. Look at that. Look at that. Fuck the doubters. Fuck them. Yeah. Wait, should I just beat all of it? Oh my god, my faith is at zero. Oh my fucking god. Everybody's dead! Look, everybody's dead! Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Holy shit, holy shit! I 
also think it's more impressive to say like, oh, I sell paintings instead of I sell stickers. I, I also feel that it's more memorable. Um, if you, the consumer, is able to see that I can produce full paintings if you want, then that's great. I don't know. Oh no, oh no, no. Damn, I was on that crusade for a long ass time, huh? Give me your money. Give me your allowances. The book fair is over. Yeah, I get so scared sharing my opinion sometimes because I know some people would hate me. Everybody's coming at you with the pitchforks. I know! <laughs> and I think a big reason why a lot of the small artists don't get, don't get it right away is because they don't have the business sense. They don't have like the education. They don't have the formal training. I don't either, but I objectively know how it kind of works. Also my dad, he has a small business. It's fucking failing though. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, he does office re office equipment repair. He doesn't have any employees, so it's all him. That's why it's failing. Anyway. <laughs> I don't like any of these. Everybody's so mad! Look at all my followers! They hate me too! <sighs> Sorry, in the character selection where you can choose who to bury, it had the character like lying down dead. It didn't used to be like that. It used to be them just standing all happy! Ready to be buried and... Send to the beyond. But no, they're just fucking dead. Yeah, let's brainwash everybody. Okay, wait, look at Mac's cloak. Mac is the elephant. Look. Look one at the tippy top. Mac is a special cloak since to the highest level. Look. Okay, you can't really see the cloak in this angle, but oh, shit. Anyway, Mac had a cool cloak skin. Dude, I think literally everybody in my cold is sick. Oh no. Bless you. Oh, this mess made me sick. If you don't allow me to rest, then I'll surely die. Yeah, bless you. Go to bed. Jesus Christ. Can you not go to bed yourself? Like, I'm not your mom. Wow, you did it? Truly you are without flaw. I'm grateful, great leader. Oh. Everybody's dead. Oh, somebody's dissenting? Oh no. You know what we need to do. Go to jail. How dare you, the one who waits dissent against me. I saved you. I spared you. I could have chosen to dispose of you like the rest of my followers. But I brought you here to my home. Somebody like shit right by the right by the corpse. 
<laughs> Why would they do that? Oh no. We're supposed to respect our elders, not defecate on them. Oh my god. Oh, we had four dead bodies. Holy. Level 8 follower? Jeez. Fucking sim. Dude, why? You literally shit right in front of me. What is up with my followers? Jeez. Have they no manners? They're in jail. Maybe one or two more runs today. My goal is to beat Anura. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Excuse me, leader. I just wanted to say that I love you. Thank you, Leshy. Thank you. Smile. Not weird at all. into shared homes because I think that'd be adorable. Like, does everybody in their little dorm rooms? got old, so we gotta find another one. Or no, Nigel is still alive. Never mind, I lied. I'm ready for another run. Mm. 
to remind you, if you want to join the cult, all you need to do is use your channel points. Any redeemers? We have two followers in queue. I also finished my banana milk. The Half of this is 50% of your daily sugar, and this is... Uh, it's not in English. This is probably like a 16 ounce. That is so bad. It's not as bad as Sodi Pop, though. Like, a whole bottle of soda is like 150% of your daily sugar, usually. It's horrible. Because, like, I haven't... No, I don't want the hammer. I'm going home. Fuck the hammer. Fuck it. I don't want it. I don't even want to try. Get me out of here. Oh, look. PB. 38 second run, guys. New PB. No way. Oh my god, it went to Gion. Thank you for that gifted sub, Kobobo. Thank you, hon. Can we get some wool bobos in chat? Thank you. Oh, we hit our sub goal too. Look, new alert. New alert. Thank you. That's also your first gifted for the month. Thank you, Kobobo. Happy Pride! <laughs> Emote explosion. Uh, that emote animation only comes up on the starting soon screen, and then the what you call it, the calligraphy scene. But thank you. Yeah, we had our sub goal. Should I do another subscriber only stream today? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yes. Maybe? Let's- what am I doing tomorrow? Because, like... I did say it probably will take me, like, 20 minutes to set up the bike, but it might take me longer. I don't know. How about handshakes? Handshakes? I'll do a bonus stream tomorrow evening. I'll still do Mario Kart- What? I don't wanna fuck- I don't wanna fuck it ever! Wait, new PB? Hold. Am I gonna be 30 seconds? Ooh, 34! New PB! <laughs> uh, how about tomorrow? I'll do Mario Kart. And then... We can do subscriber only or piece and art tomorrow. You said to shake deal? What will the bonus be? Hmm. Peace I too. Hmm. Well, we can maybe just start a valley if we do sub only bonus stream tomorrow. Because Cold Little Lamb is kind of taking over the Stardew Valley slot. What am I doing? Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. When I reset, I lose my demons. Fuck. Oopsie. Oopsie. How about if we do a sub goal stream tomorrow? I will do Stardew Valley. Oh, because I, I did do meal prep this morning. I was annoyed because I asked my sister yesterday for grocery money, but she didn't give it to me in time. Because I wasn't going to stream today because I was going to like do grocery shopping and then meal prep. Oh no! Febri has died! Oh. Oh. He's like 27, Febri. Huh. Let me- let me dispose of him. But my sister hid the grocery money in her room so I couldn't access it. <laughs> I mean like... I know where it is, but I'm not just gonna take it, you know? I mean, she wouldn't mind. Like, <laughs> she wouldn't fucking care. She's clueless. But you know, I have morals. I, will, I have standards. I would never steal. Unless? No. <laughs> The only thing I would steal is candy from a baby. And literally, I would yank it out of his sloppy little mouth. 
and throw it on the ground. In Minecraft. I don't know where that bit was going. Please don't give me a hammer, please. I don't want a fucking hammer. If it gives me a hammer, I have to do it. Because it seems like it'll just give me a hammer. For this run. Please, I don't want a hammer, please. I would do anything to not get a hammer. Oh my god! I hate hammers. They're so hard to handle. They're too slow. I also hate Thor. Just kidding, I'm not a superhero fan. All I know is that Thor has a hammer. That's literally all that I know about the Lord. <laughs> Wait, will the hammer destroy their shield? Please tell me they do. Come here. Oh, it does not destroy their sword. Oh, wait, that's kind of cool. See? This could be a problem. Wait, when I have you attack, it like basically instant. It does use fervor though. Oh. I'm going home. Th this is not worth it. It's not gonna work. It's the hammer is just not feasible. I'm gonna keep resetting until I don't get a hammer. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I refuse. I told myself I'm gonna start girl bossing. I'm not gonna do anything I don't want to do. And I don't want to play it with a hammer. Mm -mm. Girl bosses know their limits? Exactly! See, you got it! Because, like, I'm at the point in my life where I can, like, empathize with people, I will be understanding. Well, you know, I'm not gonna do shit I don't wanna do. I'm not gonna disrespect myself just to make sure that you are... ...comfortable. When it comes to most things, okay? If it's, like, a health issue, yes, then I will... Be respectful of other people. But if you want to, like, do an activity I don't want to do, like, go swimming, I'm gonna be like, no. I don't want to go to the lake. I don't want to go to the beach. I don't like swimming. That is just an example. Any girlies, I would love to go to the lake with you. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> It's Pride Month! I know I just said I refuse to play with the hammer, but this is like the fifth time. And it seems like it's only, it's only gonna give me a hammer. Oh, I'll do it, I'll do it. 
only because this is like the highest level hammer that can spawn. Let's see what the heavy attack looks like. Okay, so this is me, because when you press and hold, it charges. And then if I just press, yeah, I'm gonna have to count the time. So press one. So one second before it actually hits. And then this is normal attack, so. Let's see. One. It's about a one second delay. For, or it's a one second. The time in which the animation runs is one second before you press the button and then it actually hits the enemy. So the heavy attack is the same amount of time as a regular hammer attack. I think this is the worst world to get a hammer in because a lot of the enemies they will dodge and attack, dodge and attack. Like these guys. Absolutely brutal. You, you, you like have to guess where they'll land. The best place to get a hammer is in the spider world. Because you can kind of predict where... Like these are guys, you can't predict where they'll hop. Um, I will try. Okay, when killing an enemy, 10% chance of healing or gain an extra heart. Right now, I need help. I'm gonna trigger all these rocks. Dude, why are they just standing here? <laughs> the sillies? The nice thing about this higher level hammer is that it's basically one hit KO. You get this like 11 damage or some shit. If I had got a different hammer, I legit would have reset. I think what I have to do with- if I'm just gonna- ooh. Mushroomo. Oh, it's you! Please don't hurt us! We used to follow Matt Sosa, but he well... Have you seen him lately? I suggest you visit him to learn of his fate! What if I do this? Or this? Tee hee. Now you're followers of no one. I legit, if I didn't get the legendary hammer, I would have reset until I got it again. Getting the timing down, you know. I was, I was being stubborn. I just have to practice, and then I'll get it. Oh wait, I just realized the cloak that I have is not good for a hammer type weapon. Maybe I'll swap on my cloak. Ooh, a healing room. I don't care about anything else. I want those heals. Talking about heels, who's excited for the Barbie movie? I saw the final full trailer this weekend in the theater, and honestly, when I first heard that they were going to make a Barbie movie, I was like, oh, it's gonna be cringe. Which, yeah, it is gonna be cringe, but I feel like it's gonna be like a fun watch. It's probably going to be campy as all hell. Which we love.
Come on. I know you, yeah. Oh, see, th these guys are the hardest to dodge with the hammer. Like, you kind of gotta wait for them to walk up to you or right after they attack. There we go. Near flawless. bonus resources. Let's go! That's great! Okay, maybe the run is not dead. I just realized I didn't do a prediction. Let's do a prediction. Will I survive this run? We're like halfway through. Will I survive? Go Gamba? Sorry, gamblers. I forgot. Attack rate increased by 1.25. I will never reveal the map. I'll increase the attack rate. I'll buy a tarot card. Might as well. This run is already stacked. When hit down to half a heart, all enemies will be dealt to damage or reveal the map. I'm never revealing the map, so let's do a half a heart. The only reason why I don't do reveal the map is because it's hard for me to tell which rooms I visited and then haven't visited. Because even if it's not beneficial to visit every room, because it's not like you get really good prizes if you defeat enemies in a room. Or like an unnecessary room, rather. I'd rather still explore it. That way I can backtrack easier. Nice. Nice. Damn. That was not good. I can get a dagger. Okay, I'm gonna swap out for the dagger just to see what my attack rate is. Ooh. You know what? I have the hammer. I will commit to the hammer this run. I'll keep it. But if I got a sword, I would have easily switched to the sword. I'm fine with daggers, but I haven't played with a dagger yet today. So I would have to get used to it. And I'm already pretty far, so it's like, I don't want to ruin it. Okay, when healing an enemy, 10% chance of healing or fire projectile when you swing your weapon. I'll do the projectile. Oh wow, well, come in. We love to see it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a monogamist. Don't worry. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> sub only, sub only. Stop. I'm 
with the tentacles. Always go with tentacles. I think this is a relic room? Nope, I was wrong. have a chance to drop a fish or a 10% chance to deal a crit. I'll take a crit! weapon damage increased by 1.2. Okay, I have four and a half hearts going into the boss that I have not seen yet with a hammer. Let's see. Gushion. Two. I can't take, I have one heart left. Already. No, oh, please! I've come this far! Wait, I beat him? No way! Was my hammer that strong? I only hit him like three times! I, I did as thought I wasn't gonna make it. No way. Okay, well, I for sure, if I had like a weaker hand- Granted, this is easy mode. This is easy mode. <laughs> Don't worry, this is easy mode. Like if I had a- Because the other hammers do like half the damage that this one does because this is a godly weapon. So I, I had good RNG. So if I would have had to do this with a normal hammer, I don't think I could have beaten it. I think I could have done it for sure with a- with a gauntlet- or an axe, but that fight would have been very difficult with a hammer because you have to wait that second for the animation to go. But damn, that's three. Let's see, it's, we're at 2.36 uptime. Yeah, I think I'll have enough time to beat Anur today. See, imagine if I was playing this on normal difficulty. This would have been brutal. <laughs> Okay, one more left. Oh wait, there's four mini bosses and then one final. I forgot, so there's technically two bosses left. Hmm. I think what I'll do instead... Or should I save? Hmm. Cause I can either... Yeah, I think I'll beat the fourth mini boss and then next time we do Colton Lamb, then we'll beat the... Anora. Will I survive this run? Yes, I did, surprisingly. Somehow I did. Through the doubters. I'll beat the fourth mini boss. Mint. A leader. I'm in love. But Nanjo doesn't know I exist. Would you gather ten flowers for me from Darkwood so I might woo them? No, you can only bang me. I'm the cult leader. You know the rules. <laughs> There's no such thing as love, besides love for me, your own leader. Anybody want to join my cult? Any redeemers? Jacob.
Let's hope you're not old. Shalambang, kaya. And I will name it Jacob because it is Pride Month. Pray though. Pray the gay away. <laughs> I need to level up Ethan. Anybody else want to join my cult? You can use your channel points. Just like the old days. Exactly. Remove LGBTQ plus from the tags. <laughs> oh no! I'm sick again! Oh no, no! Why is this happening again? Stop! Dude, it's so sad seeing it like happen. Like everybody just fucking dropped dead. Profusely convulsing. Oh. Oh. But maybe it's better that everybody in the cult can see that I'm healing them all. That I am their divine leader. Everybody's all healed up back to normal and back to work. Wait till day breaks. That we can get our faith back up and then we can do another run.
what? Sorry. I just looked at myself in my camera. Oh, for some reason I thought it was red here. And I was like, what? Like, I haven't gone in the sun at all this weekend. Because <laughs> I don't get, like, sunburnt. I just brown. Because, like, sometimes I'll, like, rest my hand here. Like, just as, like, a neutral stance. And then I remove my hand and I'm, like, a big-ass red splotch. And before anybody asks, no, it is not a giant hickey. It's just... <laughs> It's just like a giant handprint. Okay, I can't do the mushroom. I also don't have many bones. I just realized the level of the followers shows how many lines are on their cloak. So level one is one line, level two is three. Whoa. I see. A giant hickey in the shape of a hand fringe. I mean, it would be a good cover up, right? <laughs> nah, pros, you. You know, the pros know you gotta put the hickeys in places where you can't see them. It's just like tattoos. people make cold this is bad people just need to stop aging what's wrong with them Just tapped it off. Hopefully this will make you guys happy. Now let me go on my crusade. Why is it going up? I swear, what is wrong with you guys? Because see, look, when I did the ritual, it went up, and then it, it's back to like 80%. Oh. I guess it takes a while for the rituals to sink in. another run. Hopefully- wait, wait, wait! You're still here descending. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, they're still descending. Come on. Just love me already. Okay, hopefully final run of the day. I'll beat it. Surely. Y'all know what time it is. Will I survive this run? Go gamble. Oh. Believers have been eating good today so far, so surely it'll be another dub.
2.6k, holy. Any doubters? If I get a hammer, it might be an actual L, though. I'll be honest. I got the sword. Okay. Okay. Timing. The issue with me is that whenever I have to switch weapons between runs, it fucks with my timing. Because, like, it's not like I can switch weapons and instantly, like, change my... <laughs> I guess the connections between my brain and my fingers. Like, I have to, like, basically relearn the timing anytime I switch. Oh no, Jagri has died! So many deaths today, damn. You get some piece... Let's say two sevens. Oh, a relic. Seal of the bishops. Freezes time for... Freezes time for a short duration. Be very helpful. So, but he will. Have you seen him lately? I suggest you visit him to learn of his fate. Yeah, I won't kill you this time. I'll spare ye souls. Or 20% more damage during the day. I'll do more damage. <laughs> Overall weapon damage increased by 1.2 or deals poison damage. I'll do poison. Poison is always the go-to pick. <clears throat> if there's ever a day where I don't pick poison, then something is definitely wrong. Keeper. Oh, what a hideous creature! <clears throat> That's very rude! Ah, I, it can talk! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was kind of silly. <laughs> Just so I can heal. I'd rather take full health right now. Just to be safe. Because I keep on forgetting that this cloak deals double damage whenever I do take a hit. I 
out of bounds. So silly. Oh, there's not even a combat room. Okay, this was the best bath. I didn't even realize there's no combat room between this and then the final. Hmm, peace I too. Hmm. Maybe this will actually be a good run. Not that I had any doubts. No, no, it's just, you know. Sometimes accidents happen. <laughs> what is it? Okay. Tale of the Slither. Poison. Poison all active enemies. That one does seem cool, but I want to see the pausing time one. I just want to see it. Because if I can pause time, and it's an enemy that moves a lot, then I can just spam. You know, get some jabs in. Like, how are the enemies dashing across the environment? It's, it's these mushrooms. Oh no, that's kind of scary. A dodging technique, maybe. There we go. Cause I thought like legit my game is glitching again. I was like, how are they zooming across the map? either of these. I don't like the hammer. And I don't like the curses that possess. I feel like they don't work. Well, there's not nearly... Because since I use curses only in the boss rooms, there's not nearly enough, like, grunts on the map that can be possessed. <gasps> oh, Lee, I'm rich! Screw all the things I said about landlords. I'm gonna become a landlord and rent out 50 million apartment units. Yes, sir? Why like the gauntlet? Gauntlet is my favorite. <laughs> Don't worry. 
I forgot. It's there's it's not four mini bosses. It's three minis and then the actual final. So this is the final boss for Anora. Let's go. So guys, get ready for lore. Lore time. Sinanara. Heck it. Vile, sniveling puppet. I will destroy you again and again. A okay, Hecate was the easiest of all the final bosses. Hands down the easiest. Let's see how his fight changes. Okay, his fight seems basically the same. is last time. There we go. Taking, I was taking it that I could take. I also didn't use my curse at all. Okay, I'll, I have time to. I'm gonna beat him today. It was easy. It, this fight seems about the same as the original Hecate. I don't. Hmm. The only thing is, like sometimes when like the boss is stationary and then they're about to move, sometimes it'll flash like the off white. Hecate doesn't flash white, so it's hard to tell when he's gonna move. I'm gonna beat it today, don't worry, don't worry. Believers, I'll give you another dub, don't worry. No fear, for I am here. Anybody want to join my cult? Use your channel points. Cult members have just killed over today. And it is, it is not my fault. It is not the rampant disease. It happens every few days. That is not it. No need to fear. Increase the starting level of weapons when you begin a new crusade. Yes! I didn't see this one up top. my bones.
Oh, somebody else has died. <laughs> Oops. Ignore this one. Lamb, this is why your labors have wrought. This place holds not a single candle to the magnificence of my temple. Now gone. Build a skull candle. Yeah, why not? Okay, the skull candle looks kind of cool, not gonna lie. run will be the one. Ah. Y'all know the drill. Will I survive this run? Will I beat Hecate? Go Gamba. Since I figured out how to do like the death counter on screen, or just any counter on screen, I think I'll add that for more games that I play. Like if I start a new game where like deaths do occur, I will put a death counter on screen. <laughs> I don't know if I want to add it for Cult of the Lamb though. It feels kind of late. The poison gauntlet from the start? Holy! This is gonna be a great run.
eye and the ice gore. Orbiting eyes that freeze enemies on contact. I took way too many hits in that room. I still need to learn the timing for the heavy attacks. Because the timing for the heavy attacks is similar to the timing of the hammer. It seems for like any weapon you get. So there's always going to be that one second animation that plays before it actually hits. Take a path that has the least amount of combat. So probably the leftmost path, but sometimes with the question marks, you just get a, a boss. Let's don't be a boss, please. Give me some good. Give me some good. The lingering presence of Hackett can be felt. Enemy projectiles have increased. In speed, no, I knew. Anytime it's a question mark on the final, like, boss run attempt, it's gonna be a bad question mark. I knew it. But that's actually so bad. Now, like, my one weakness, the freaking projectiles. I knew it, I knew it. freezes time. I'm gonna equip it because I just want to see what it looks like. I literally blanked and forgot to use it last time. So, oopsie. Now let, I'm gonna actually use it in the boss fight. Destroy Hecate. today, I don't think. I'll take it. I think Axe has gotta be my favorite. It's so good. And the Poison Bane Axe? Yes, sir. Oh, I forgot the heavy attack is when I throw it. That's honestly easier. They don't necessarily need to, like, time it. Oh, the range isn't crazy big. Doing too bad. Uh, 
Drop like Igor when you roll, or receive double the health when healing. The Ikor doesn't do much damage, so I'm gonna do double health. Drop like Ikor when you roll, or a 10% chance of getting a blue health when killing an enemy. I'll do the blue heart, because I just got the double heal card. Okay, this is not a bonus room, because there's an extra room. Okay, it doesn't lock me out. There is one more room up top. Sacrifice health. I basically have full health right now. So even if I wouldn't have gotten this room, it doesn't matter. Or I probably would not have had this much health going into a boss fight, so I'm gonna do it. You usually get disease hearts. A single red heart was sacrificed. Hearts received in return. Oh my god. I got like six blues. That has never happened. Oh my god. Usually you get like one, maybe max three diseased, but six blues? Holy. Yeah, no way I lose here, guys. If I somehow... <laughs> if I somehow throw... Ooh. That means I, I can literally just tank this fight, probably. Yeah, I can't be going in too cocky, though. Freeze right now. Whoa, this is crazy. Okay, so it freezes for like three seconds. That's huge. Yeah, when you hit his tongue, it does so much more damage than hitting his body. Fine, I can tank. I'm janking. Dude, one more hit. Damn. Even if I didn't have the six blues, I would have made it. I think freezing the time at the very start, because it allowed for him to delay, like, dispensing little grunts. Okay, so if I ever have a relic, I need to get the time-stopping one and then save it for the final boss, because I think... Oh, you can't see it, but my face can't belong to this. Because there's a timer on certain relics. Some relics are single-use only. This one is a timeout one. So you, you can't, like, spam relics. Like, you can spam a heavy attack. Okay, damn! Granted, this is easy mode. Don't worry if this was normal. 
The only difference between like the chat like the difficulties is the amount of health enemies have. Now we have Peckett. Okay, does any chatter want to be Hecate? Oh wait, no, actually I keep them. Never mind. I was like, I retract that. I forgot if they're a if they're a um, bossing game, I keep them the same. Sorry, I forgot, I forgot. Cancel me. Damn. I got three tiers. You see, that had to be like a 15 minute run. Damn, 11 minutes actually speed running. I survived this run? Yes, I did. And I beat all the bosses in Anora finally. Dude, I can change the title. Stream ends when I beat all the Anora DLC bosses. Damn. Okay. By the lamb may we live, and in time, by the lamb may we die. I wonder what that means. Surely I would not kill my followers. Yeah, I'll- I'll bring in my followers now, because I think there's gonna be dialogue whenever we bring in Hecate. So many in line. Oopsie. Oh my god, I have literally so many. <laughs> Damn, I'm sorry guys. I didn't mean to leave you hanging. your channel points. You take away the rights from the new followers. Oh my god, there's so many! I thought there was only like two. Oh, it's because I've been buying a follower before like every run. Oopsie. Well, at least now we have more laborers. Here is Hecate. Feed me. Ah. He's kind of scary. Ah. Here, can you go eat? I am too hungry to work. Let me go eat. There's nothing for me to eat. Okay, I'll, I'll make you food, man. Oh. 
Are you no longer hungry? Oh, bad luck. Lamb. Anora hides what I lost. Yours for now. Find Hecate's throat in Anora. Yeah, I can see his, his throat is fucked up. We'll find it next time, though. Okay, I'm gonna do one confession, and then we'll wrap it up for today. I did not think I was gonna breeze through Anora today, but I guess I did. I mean, it's because I'm in easy mode now. I'm not doing normal. I, I just want to get through the story. I want to see what happens. You know, real streamers play on easy mode. I just realized I didn't save it all today. Lamau. <laughs> Can't save. Let's wrap it up here. <laughs> okay. Dude, that's so bad that I didn't save. I always forget. It's because I assume in most games there's just auto save, you know? Okay, I'm gonna get some music on for you guys. And then we'll do calligraphy. Guys, my clips channel is so close to a thousand subs. I'm so close. I'm at 997 subs. Let's do a Mori music. A little throwback. Okay. Let's do some cool like for everybody. So if you're new to the channel, anybody who donates or uses their channel points will get their name written. We had one gifted sub today. So we're going to do Oilers, and then we can do channel points. So if you want me to write your name, all you need to do is use your channel points. Thank you, Jacob. Even changing my category. There it is. Oh, hand reveal.
Give me a Jacob Redeem. Yeah, once you're in the book, you're famous, man. That's, that's exactly how it works. Maybe that's why I'm not famous, because I'm not written in the journal. Hmm. Hey, guys. There we go. Once again, thank you, Bubble, for a gifted to the chat room. I appreciate it. First gifted of the month, so you should have gotten bonus channel points. So thank you. I appreciate it. And since you helped unlock a sub goal strength, we'll do it tomorrow. And we'll do uh, Stardew Valley tomorrow. It's been a while since we've done Star sub only Stardew Valley. So we'll do that tomorrow after Mario Kart. Okay, last call. Any redeemers? Last call. Y'all got, got five seconds. Thank you for redeeming Cole Bobo. Also, I know you said you're on vacation, Jacob, but don't be spending all vacation on your phone, okay? You know, go out and touch some grass. Well, this is a pretty green. It's like an emerald green, but slightly more blue. I'll be streaming peace in during my vacation too? Oh no, guys, come on. Don't be using your data on me. Unless... <laughs> no, I get it. Because, like, the last, I guess, time I went out of town was during the October, or no, September Comic Con I went to. And I wanted to watch a song stream, but the Wi-Fi in our hotel wasn't strong enough. And I was so sad. Like, it was either watch in, like, literally 144p or just wait till I got home. And I was like, no, my streamer. Okay, chatters, I think we can wrap it up here for today. I would like to thank you all for watching this bonus subscriber-only stream on this rare Monday. Um, I will be live tomorrow. Same channel, please send 17 normal stream for all the normies, so let's be nice to non-subs. Uh, Mario Kart, as usual, story time, so get your little AMA questions locked and loaded for tomorrow. Get some good ones. And then we'll do a bonus subscriber only Stardew Valley because we hit a sub goal today. Thank you, Cole Bo Bo. Um, yeah, I had fun today. I did not think I would beat all of the Enora bosses today. Actually, insane. Actually, correct. Okay. Uh, before I go, if you are a real peace and underscore 17 fan, you would follow my clips channel on YouTube. Go subscribe. It's free to sub there. Gotta pay five bucks to sub here, but free on YouTube. My clips channel is at 997 subs. It is literally. So close to hitting 1k. If we hit 1k today, I will do nothing. I will, like, eat ice cream or some shit. I don't know. 
Yeah, bye, Jacob. Thank you for hanging out today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, also, if YouTube ain't your thing, go follow my Twitter. I need more Twitter cloud, okay? Okay, bye, guys. Bye bye. I wish there was a way for me to figure out people's alt accounts. It's just interesting because like people will bot follow like just like a fuck ton of accounts. But I wonder if it's like somebody like actually who doesn't like me. I don't know if it's like- Does that mean I'm famous now? Um, for context, we had somebody follow, like, at the start of stream, who had a bad word of their name, and I instantly blocked, deleted, and reported them. Or banned, not deleted. I mean, their account did get deleted by Twitch, because I reported them. But, hmm, peace I too? Hmm. Who is it? Reveal yourself now. <laughs> oh my god. I've gotten, like, kinda close. Because, like, you know how you have, like, people you like watching, and then sometimes, like, you hate watch people, and you just want to, like, see them fail? I get that appeal a lot. But I used to be very much like that when I was, like, first going on the internet, because, like, that's when, like, YouTubers who weren't acting good were popping off. So I was like, you know what? I, I don't like this person. I don't like what they do. I'm gonna, like, watch them to see them fail. But then I matured, and I was like, wait, I'm just wasting my time watching people I don't give a fuck about. So it's like, I'm gonna spend my time watching content I like. And engaging with people I like online. So if you have that little seed of negativity in your heart, it'll go away after time. Just don't feed into it. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Markiplier, bye guys. <laughs>